Hi, Jeff from Ethical Practice here again. And as promised, uh, this is the second video in a two-part series. And what we're talking about today is uh, a situation where um, we get a great result in a first consultation and the client doesn't need to come back. And I feel that uh, there's an issue here. And uh, the issue for me really is about us learning not to focus just on uh, one specific thing. Um, so one specific complaint that perhaps someone's come in for. Now I'm not saying that we shouldn't focus on that issue, but I'm saying we shouldn't focus on just that issue. And I'll give you an example of something that happened to me quite a number of years ago, which changed the way in which I deal with my practice. Uh, someone presented to me with a, low, a chronic lower back problem, and uh, after a series of treatments, uh, we managed to get a resolution uh, to that uh, problem. And uh, I suggested that they come back maybe in about six weeks uh, or every six weeks um, as a maintenance kind of process. They agreed that was fine. So they came back to me uh, six weeks later um, with a story about how they'd gone to a naturopath and um, they uh, got some prescribed uh, herbs and supplements to treat their PMS, um, which had been very successful, which was great, it was fantastic. However, I kind of at that point rolled my eyes thinking, why didn't they tell me about this? Because as a Chinese medicine practitioner, I can treat PMS. Well, the reason that they didn't tell me about it is because they didn't know that as a Chinese medicine practitioner, that's one of the uh, pathologies that we can treat. But they also, I didn't know about it because I didn't do a wide enough health appraisal to understand all of the different issues that might be affecting them. Um, and so I only was focusing on uh, one specific area of their health, not the whole picture. Um, so what it's really about doing is by taking a larger um, sort of uh, viewpoint, um, taking a, a, a more uh, a wider health appraisal, shall we say, we're able to then um, see all of the things that are coming into play. And obviously, uh, as a holistic practitioner, that's a holistic approach. Um, but what that also does, it gives us the ability to be able to explain to our clients um, what's going on for them. It also gives them the, us the ability to explain to them that we can actually treat some of the things, or all of the things maybe, that are going on for them. Um, and so that then starts to build a level of trust um, uh, in us from them. By that happening, uh, then we are able to gradually show them different things that we can uh, do. Uh, we're able to uh, treat those things, we're able to get better results. Um, that then gives them a greater sense of confidence in us, again, for more trust. Um, and that then gives them a sense that we really do know what we're doing and it gives us a greater degree of credibility in their eyes. And it builds a greater bond and a better relationship with, um, between us. And I believe that that's uh, a really par a, a paramount factor in um, developing uh, your client base as a, as a practice. So look um, more, look for more than just um, the, dealing with a particular issue that perhaps they come in with. And you might find that it's an opportunity both for um, you as a practitioner to gain a, a more uh, regular client, but also more importantly, it's an opportunity for them to be able to get uh, a better level of health than perhaps what they thought was possible. So uh, that's pretty much it um, around this particular topic. Um, if you've got any comments to make around this topic, um, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, also, if you've got any questions, we'd also love to hear from you. Um, we uh, want to help you in the best ways that you see fit. Um, so the more information we have about the issues that you're facing, uh, the more information we can give you to help you in your practice. Uh, check us out uh, on our website at www.ethicalpractice.net. Uh, you can sign up there for our free e-news. We're also obviously on YouTube, uh, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, my name's Jeff from Ethical Practice. Uh, looking forward to catching up with you in the next video uh, and uh, giving you more information about how to build your practice. Thanks again for your time.